Look, the Tooth Fairy came last night. You can see all the sparkles to the pillow and then there was some money left in this little envelope. This morning I am making the boys a little fruit salad, which is basically a fancy way to say I need to use up all this fruit, but they really love it. So I'm gonna have like apples, grapes, strawberries. I've got a tangerine to use up as well. So I'm just gonna split all of this into three bowls and then take it to the boys. doing some coloring this morning I've taped it down so it doesn't move so for you I made, I made sure for him hi guys and welcome back to my channel today I thought I would vlog it's a Sunday here so we're doing our normal Sunday stuff Fraser's gone off to a football match this morning and normally we would all go as a family and support him especially when the weather is as good as it is today uh, but the match is quite a drive away so I decided to stay behind with the two little ones so we've just been hanging out playing with play mags drawing um, they've had like a hundred million snacks <laughs> and now I'm gonna take them to the park for an hour and then come home for lunch and then we can meet Fraser and Matt back here for lunch um, and then yeah I don't know what we're gonna do this afternoon it's quite a chilled one but I didn't really want to plan anything because they've just gone back to school I just knew that they would be wiped we also have to do a little bit of homework as well I'll just take you along with us on our like family day so let's go to the park so we decided to come to the park that has a skate park in it the boys oh. are getting really into look at his little he's lost two two front teeth haven't you are back from football so now they're in the other room watching more football I can't believe how much of it has been on at the moment but now I've just made lunch so today we're going to be having some corn crispy nuggets we're also having some veg so I've made carrots peppers baby corn and sugar snap peas and then I've also made some chips in our air fryer which I've been loving doing so the nuggets that the boys have are the corn crispy nuggets they love them and they're really really yummy a lot of you guys will know that we eat meat free three to four times a week we've just decided to do it because simply by going veggie on a few meals a week can have a really positive impact on the environment and on ourselves as well and simple meat free swaps like this are still really tasty they're also very convenient I just stick them into the oven for 15 minutes and they're a source of protein they're a source of fiber and they're also low in saturated fat and more than all of that the kids just really love them so corn are actually doing a campaign at the moment which is called nuggets of change they're asking families to pledge what small changes they will be making following on from the past few months like lockdown and like basically what we learned from all of that that we would like to take forward into the future so I'm gonna get the boys to come and eat lunch and we're just gonna have a chat about what pledges we'll be making I think the main thing for me and the main thing that I learned um, over the past few months is just that we were way too busy every single day after school the kids had a different club to go to now that things are getting a little bit back to normal I will just be letting the boys do maybe one to two clubs a week I think they're gonna do football 
and swimming as well because obviously swimming is a really important skill but they used to do karate lego club like all these other things that actually i don't think we need because we were just so busy we didn't have that much time together as a family so that's my main pledge um but yeah i'll link like more information about the campaign in the description down below and let's have lunch <laughs> School. I took you to preschool a few times, didn't I? You were such a good boy going back. Do you like it? You've got a new well, best friend. You just picked me up like, for like 100 years. I didn't pick you up for like 100 years, sorry. <laughs> I was waiting for you. You was waiting for me. But Jax, do you like being back at school? Back at something? <laughs> Making some friends? You don't like you it. Age? Have you liked being back at school? <laughs> No. <laughs> you have? You do now, don't you? You do. You had a little well, bubble. Well, well, it's nice that, like, we're not doing proper work, we're just doing, like, fake tests so our teachers can, like, know us a bit. Like, they learn, like, what stage you're at yeah. after your amazing homeschooling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're like, wow, you're clever, and then when you left. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really like homeschooling. I tried some more. You didn't like it, did you? You didn't really like the... The, like the calls on the computer, did you? Yeah, I did. I like seeing my friends. Yeah, that's probably the thing you miss the most, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? What did about you, you? Kate? <laughs> Is there anything that you really liked about lockdown or the last Go to the park. Yes. Wow. Uh, Actually, we've probably yes, done that more since, park. haven't we? We, we have. go to the park more. Yeah. Because it's the only place you could go. Yeah. Because yeah. we went on some really nice walks. We found those woods we never even knew about. We got the bar. Yeah, yes. we got the bar. The you guys bar. got so good on the monkey bars. Oh. You got a skateboard, Faye. Yeah, I don't know how to ride that. You're good at that now. We probably realised we don't I need that really extravagant day out. So I think we probably eat more as a family now, don't we? We probably mm. like make the effort more to sit down and yeah. do this. <laughs> Which has been nice, obviously where I was around a lot more as well, so we sort of could eat at a more reasonable time. Yeah, that's true. We prefer going to school than being homeschooled. Mm. <laughs> I, I won't like, take offence. I like both though. Did you? Because I like doing homeschool, seeing you guys every day, and then back at school, I could see my friends every day. Yeah, oh. it's nice like to see people your own age, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Play lots of football. Play football. Yeah. <laughs> just be red every lunchtime. <laughs> just be red every lunchtime. I love how we have so many different dips here. My favourite is the sweet chilli, definitely. What's yours? Mine is definitely the ketchup. Mm. What's yours, Caleb? Mine is the, definitely the ketchup too. Ketchup yeah. as well. I'm a chilli mayonnaise fan. Chili. Or barbecue. Barbecue's good. Or mayonnaise, barbecue. Yeah. We like the sauce. <laughs> Are we done? Yes! Should we go to the park? Yes! Go We are off out and you'll never guess where we're going. We're going back to the skate park because Fraser didn't get to go because he was at football. Or me. And Matt didn't get to go either. And the little ones just really want to go back there. So that's where we're going. I actually saw some parents in there earlier that had like, you know those little chairs that you take to football sometimes and like you put them up and sit in them? They had camping them. Chairs. Because that's it, camping chairs. Because their kids obviously goes to the skate park so much and there's not really any seats for parents so we bought a so sofa so we actually have some camping chairs in the back for when Fraser has football and stuff so we could like just do it but I feel like I feel like Jackson's like that little bit too little to just let loose on all the ramps and stuff um, but anyway we're going back and Wish yeah. us luck. does anyone else's boot look like this
We are finally on our way back home. I feel like it should be that bit out of SpongeBob that goes five hours later. Because we literally, we couldn't get them away once we got them there, but they had so much fun. But we do have to go home and do some homework. So that is what we're going to do now. While we were out, we got a few deliveries. So I wanted to show you what I got my little niece in Canada for her birthday. It's her birthday soon. And I saw this on Next. It is the cutest little jump dress. I thought it would be perfect for autumn. It's got a big rainbow on it. And then it also comes with the matching rainbow tights. So I got her that and then my sister said that she needed some new boots and my niece Ren is like super girly. So I saw these, they are pink sparkly boots. Hopefully that's coming out and they, I don't know if you can see that, they light up. Cute. You see? Look how cute that is. But then in case my sister meant she actually does need boots like for the weather, I also got her these little Peppa Pig wellies, but they've got like a bit of fleece inside. So hopefully they'll be like a little bit more warm. Um, and apparently she likes Peppa Pig. So I got all of this from Next and I can't wait to send it to her. Um, I know I should probably just order something online and then like send it to her, but I wanted to choose it and like wrap it all up and stuff like that. So, and then another delivery that I got is another thing from Amazon. I know I buy so much on there, but we watched this show the other night. It was about social media and the internet and stuff like that. And it was talking about how we all are getting like addicted to our phones and all the psychology behind it and stuff. And someone on the documentary had one of these. It is a cookie safe. So, wait, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> it's a cookie safe. So it's actually for like putting treats in and then you can set the timer on here. You literally just spin the thing around for like how many minutes you wanna lock stuff away. So like on the box that came with it, people put like cigarettes in it or treats or anything. But I was thinking that we could all put our technology or our phones in this while we're eating dinner. And this is almost more for us though <laughs> than the kids. Like the kids are young enough to know like if we say don't have it, whatever. But I was thinking for me and Matt as well, like we're terrible for like if it dings, we check it. So I was thinking I could put it to like half an hour or an hour. You can have a yogurt. Are you hungry? I know, that's the thing that's scary. Yeah, you want a yogurt? Okay, I'll bring it to you. He's watching Umi Zumi. He's demanding a yogurt. Um, so, look, I'll show you it. Yeah, I'll show you how it works. But yeah, so you set the timer, put your technology in. Well, that's what I was thinking. And then we can't have it back until after dinner. But it's actually so scary because I was thinking if we get a phone call. But then if it's a family dinner, like everyone who is like really like important to us is actually here. It's going to be fine. And no, it's, it's not big enough to fit a wine bottle in though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do them that big um but anyway i will test it out i'll let you know how it goes i remember growing up we were never allowed phones or like not that we yeah. had we didn't have mobiles but my mom That's like if the, no, but if the house phone rang we weren't allowed to do you know what i mean so yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of homework and then we'll go upstairs for a bath so caleb needs to make a super was it a villain vehicle yeah. a villain's car because all of his topics about superheroes and fraser is actually writing roman numerals from 1 to 50.
Right, so all the boys are in bed now. I feel like we were a little bit later at getting them all to bed because we are at the park and then we were doing homework and Fraser wrote a little biography about his hero. So he wrote it about Matt and it was the sweetest thing to read. Just so cute, like what they pick up on and stuff. So we were working on that for a while um, once Jackson went to bed. Um, but yes, everyone is down now. So I think I'm just going to edit this vlog and chill out but thank you so much for watching i hope you really enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye guys